Welcome, uh, this is my third episode of this uh, introduction to Star Trek Online. Uh, I'm Charlotte and I will be your host for today. Hi! I am just now finishing, well, making a quick uh, updating, updating of my... Uh, of my duty officer missions. Uh, six assessment slots. Alright. <clears throat> no, I don't want to do that. With my uh, with my duty officers, so they get doing stuff. Well, I don't have to worry about it. I might even get uh, some. Mm. Last time I did this, I got some Romulan ale for my personal use. But don't tell my crew; they'll skin me alive if they discover I just uh, a con them out of. Out of it. Okay, no, yes, this better. <coughs> anyway, we need to go to Earth Space Dock rather quickly. So I'm going to use the Transwarp. You can go here to the part system and get outside to where we are. However, we are right now in with Battle Group Omega, which in the galaxy map it's, it's in here. You open the map with M, by the way, and zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. Earth is here in the series block, and the transport conduit is in here. It isn't really far away, but I don't really want to do that. So I can go, go in here, or hit the uh, T key, T from, for, I don't know, uh, transwarp. <laughs> And they can choose between Sherman system for Star, uh, Star Wars K7 and Soul system. I can do that because of my duty officers. If you, go, if you go in here in Diplomatic, you can see I have rank 2 complete. I gained the personal ability to transwarp to K7. Uh, the next level I will gain the Diplomatic Immunity capability and transfer to Star Base 39 Sierra, etc, etc, etc. Anyway, a transwarp to soul system is a skill everybody has from level 1, but the Klingon characters, which will transwarp to Kuonos. Uh, well, this skill will take you to, or to Earth's orbit, near Earth's space dock, and you can see it's quite uh, a hoof. If you're wondering, my ship is an uh, a tactical version of the Odyssey Cruiser, which you can only find in the Sea Store. Here, Odyssey Pack. I am using right now the tactical cruiser. I have all three, so I can have all these consoles that allow me to do nifty things. Uh, also, my ship is ready for facing the Vorg, so I have two of these console. Uh, that gives me 30 defense against plasma. Uh, defenses have a diminishing return effect, so I have 60 advantage, but I only get a 42%. Bear that in mind. I also have uh, this <coughs> bonus damage to anti-proton. Uh, I have all anti-proton beams, but for these uh, mines. Uh, they, well, do, they do a stack, they don't do it uh, among each other. If, for example, one of my anti-proton twins uh, would to deal 100 damage, thanks to this tactical console it would deal five, uh, 126, and with this other it would rise up to 152, and with this other it will rise up to 176. Instead of being <coughs> Uh, 0.26 but, uh, plus uh, 100 multiplied for uh, 1.26 and multiplied for 1.24. That would uh, I don't I know I'm not expressing myself too well. Sorry. <laughs> By the way, you can see I'm down here making the, the 24 20 hours daily down here, and I must tell you something regarding the experience points and duty officer points uh, sorry reach officer points when you once you reach the level cap all the experience points you would earn will go to your bridge officer pool 
so you don't have to worry uh, if you need to retrain them every now and then about all the experience they might need. Uh, but it's better if you if you don't need to retrain them too much because well <laughs> it's uh, a hassle. Well, this is Earth Space Dock. In here you can make uh, a lot of things and in fact after you create your, fir your first character you need to go to the Admiral's office which is surprise here and talk with that guy. After that you will only need really need to come back to to this uh, Earth Space Dock uh, for several for a few things. One of them is repairing your ship if you use advanced difficulties and the other is what I am going to show you right now regarding rich officers. You can see by the way I have two unused slots and I that's because I bought them in the sister a few uh, some time ago and I did the same with other two so two four six is the are the slots you will get when you reach level 50. You can buy a uh, buy additional common level bridge officers in here, paying dilithium. Uh, you can try to do assignments. There are none here right now that allow you to recruit more. Usually only on Earth Space Dock or on the Starfleet Academy. And here you can change your bridge officers training. You can only change the training of uh, bridge officers. You have, the, uh, let's say, in your rooster here. If they are in here, in this slot here, they won't be trainable. But if they are here, you can mile them or and for here, like so, or place them in the exchange. Once they are in here, however, the only way you have to give them to another player is by di direct trade. And that's a low for the training of, of uh, extra powers. <coughs> you can't access all the powers from the NPC trainer. You, if you, we go to the bottom, the top they can, ta they can learn down here is 3. It's, it, sorry, it's two, and for some skills like combat supply, it's only one. To teach them any, uh, anything else, you need a player of the appropriate uh, profession and who has the appropriate skills. For example, I can go to train officers here in my uh, status staff, and I can teach my officers all these skills. All are engineering skills, and all are dependent on me spending uh, points in here. At least uh, three for some, for others six points. The last three are not really necessary. And about the spending experience points, you can see it uh, shows a diminishing return factor. You get a lot for the first three points you, bu you buy, then you get smaller amount and finally a minimal amount. Uh, at the end, if you feel completely, you get a plus 99. It's just a matter of preferences. Uh, I find uh, some... Are, uh, oh, and this is ship requisition, the shipyards. Some skills are better to have maxed out, and others are better just uh, in a spent optimization. Anyway, I told you before that every 10 levels you will earn a new rank. Once you do, you come here and speak with this uh, beautiful lady and ask for a new ship. You search here the rank you just earned and uh, select the ship you prefer. You can see there are essentially three kinds of ships. Cruisers, escorts and science vessels. Uh, an escort is uh, it's a, essentially a crystal cannon, a glass cannon. A uh, ship designed to be as fast, nimble, uh, armed with uh, a few weapons that pack a huge punch, and uh, which the tactic of the tactic of uh, killing whatever it is in front of you before it can kills you off. Uh, 
The cruiser can dish out an uh, extremely high amount of uh, damage and they are essentially a tanking ship. They have a lot of full points, they have a lot of energy and they are slow <coughs> and hard to maneuver. Their turning rate is the worst of all. For that reason they tend to use beam arrays like these ones. They have a 250 degrees arc which means if you mount them both in fore and aft they have a 70 degrees uh, arc in each size and top of bottom, remember this is a three-dimensional game that uh, are covered by all their weapons. Uh, escorts usually use cannons which has a 45 degrees front uh, targeting arc. Science vessels uh, act as healers, buffers and debuffers and besides the skills they get, and they depend on auxiliary power by the way, they get uh, subsystem targeting and sensor analysis plus 30% uh, bonus to shell points. In case you are wondering, my, uh, the Odys all Odyssey cruisers, refit the ones from the sisters, get a 30% bonus to shells. Right now, thanks to that and my uh, plus 35% for a console here, uh, from the 7,000 I have in here shown, I can reach uh, 15,000, 17,000, right? More or less. <coughs> anyway, after you get your ship, you can rename it immediately. You can rename it again by paying a fee of uh, 1,000 energy credits in here. <coughs> or, and you can go in here and say, hey, I want to, cost to customize my ship. Hit Advance. As you can see, there are different uh, bridges you can access to. It costs uh, money to change because you need to refit everything. The Aquarius uh, bridge, sorry, I'm sorry to say, is available only to the Odyssey refit. You will usually have to choose between these in here. Not much to do. The Odyssey is from the old Odyssey uh, ships. And these ones uh, require money because they are dress-ups or things like that. Nothing really impressive. You can change the kind of material so it's sparkly white or a little more blackies. Uh, you, you can change the type of windows, the pattern of the colors you're selecting here. And here you can change the style if there are more than one available. The DC class has known. That means it can't be <laughs> changed. Ooh. Anyway, moving out. In here you can select when you have several your the ship you will be using, set as current. And uh, by the way, I I bought two extra slots in the um, time the time I started playing. So uh, my uh, advice is not to worry. You can always kick the first ship you get on the second and thirds to make ship uh, space for the uh, for the runabout and the and the shuttle if you need to. And by the way, you can equip in the runabout standard gear from your ships that will be scaled down to work at the at their level. Or you can hit U, open here, and go into the different ones, moving items from them to your inventory and to another ship. So I usually uh, use my older ships, like these sovereigns here, as a placeholder for gear that I might want to use later or something like that. Uh, I am equipping right now this shipping here and of course I must say that there are uh, gear sets. In this case you can see here Maiko Graviton Deflector Array Mark 10. There are two pieces of the set present. This is important. This is a Mark 11 part of the set. This is another Mark 10. That's the the reason this marks as uh, there are two pieces of the set and this mark uh, as there is only one. 
Uh, what else? Well, you can move uh, items between ships. This is uh, the dreadnought, my dreadnought, which is one of the two only ships in the Federation that, that can cloak. The other being the Ref Defiant Refit, level 50 also, and the multi-vector assault craft. This one can break into three different ships. And by the way, again, <laughs> is the it is the only ship that uh, it's another ship that you can only buy at level 50. You can get this ship without the uh, with a little less capabilities, including the lacking of the capability of turning into three ships at uh, level 30 when you're a captain. And that's mostly it. All ships come with some basic equipment, the same way your rich officers come with some basic equipment, but it's usually, well, something you can ignore safely and, and change for something better in no time. Uh, so this was mostly about this kind of stuff, of ships and the like. There you can buy white level gear for your ship and with all lithium you can buy a little more better uh, gear. You can also go to the dilithium store and buy items in here. This transfer coils by the way you can see allows you to add some targets to your ship. I believe I believe they only work 10 times. Yeah, it's a uh, use and waste. Not uh, ad permanently add to your list. Anyway, when you go and select, you are not limited to your selection of uh, primary, uh, primary role. I am an engineer with this ship, uh, with this character, but uh, there's no reason for me not to get, for example, an advanced, an advanced escort. Oh, look, it's a uh, level 40. My my mistake, wait, uh, before. Uh, or a science vessel, it's no problem at all. <coughs> uh, you can also buy traditional ships, but they cost a lot of dilithium. I mean, you reach level 40, you choose, for example, an assault cruiser, the Sovereign from Star Trek, and you will find that, uh, well, you prefer another ship. Okay, farm 120,000 dilithium credits, and you can buy a uh, Scort or a science vessel or a star cruiser or a fleet escort or a deep space science vessel once you reach level 40 the, the um, ships follow fossil get a little fossil in their design also you can see there are three different uh, ships being shown in here you can mix and match the ships for purely aesthetically purpose when you customize your ship Or you can buy some ships. So uh, uh, you get a free ship each level up to Rear Admiral Lower Half, which is level 40, and you, uh, that means you get one free ship, only one each level. You do that. Uh, once you reach level 50, you are allowed to go to the sea store and buy any of these uh, ships. Or, as I told you before, if you don't want to, you can go to the Dilithium Exchange and sell Dilithium to buy cryptic points. Which you can see, they, are, they went up in a few hours from 249 to 250. <clears throat> so I believe this covers all the basics in here. Uh, the only thing that uh, is left for me to tell you is, well, you can use this to beam to your ship, 
or you can say I want to visit my bridge and you get inside of your ship uh, let's beam to the ship and I will proceed to tell you uh, how to select mission be it uh, player versus environment or player versus player yes loading screens are quite uh, permanent in the game also if you want to craft items you need to go to memory alpha we are right now in here to memory alpha you need to uh, exit to the sector and go north to alpha centauri block to memory alpha in there that means hitting here depart system hmm. I like to do these science assignments because they tend uh, oops no I don't want to do that to provide me with some of this um, okay if you go here and hail the Starfleet you will get uh, when you have a, a completed mission you will get it in here shown and you will have it hail the Starfleet uh, the same missions will show up in here uh, you can make primary uh, mission and it will show in here or clear primary and the order will revert to what it was also you can drop a quest finally you can select the difficulty you can you want to make the the mission at normal means well normal difficulty advanced means the enemy will be harder to beat and elite means better loot harder enemies and penalizations if you get killed be it your ship or be it your character in the ground missions if your ship gets hurt uh, it gets destroyed it will uh, it will ac acquire an injury you need to go to the guy I showed you before in her space dock deep space 9 or almost any other starbase under federation control Tag to the GUI with uh, with this sign over him, which this is a strange nine, which stands for engineering, and ask him for, to heal your ship. Or you can use some components like this one, minor components will heal a minor injury. There are minor, major, and critical injuries. And if uh, if you're if you are the one that's hurt, or your rich officers are the ones that that are hurt, you need to go to the physician, the physician, and ask uh, for them to be healed, and yourself too, or use uh, regenerators. Uh, ground injuries work in the same way space injuries do. <coughs> So, <clears throat> if you want to join an episode, you can go in here. You can see I am starting the Breen Invasion episodes, but I'm really busy right now farming other stuff, so I'm never started. Then there's the feature series, which is already finished, and the extra rewards from Baldi the Road, which was the shard from of the prophets. I have in here, which creates two decoys which help you in PvE, in player versus environment uh, is no longer available I might, uh, I might read you facility 42.8 because I can get a Jem Hadar tactical officer candidate the voice acting is particularly is really good in this game by the way Anyway, you can go in here and ask for available missions that includes uh, daily missions and you can go in uh, to the episodes and hail to get them. Finally, you can go to community authored uh, missions. You can see they are rated uh, and you can search them by title, by top rated, hot, new or custom. By author the language they are written on, the rating they have been getting, <coughs> etc. And the duration from what to what. Uh, the advantage from these missions is that uh, they 
well, you, when you end one, you can give it a rating. And finally, you can tip with a little dilithium from, I believe it's from 5 to 100 or from 25 to something more. <coughs> And uh, yeah, I was just helping a fleet mate. Uh, I was I was talking about uh, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> uh, here you can see the different accolades. By the way, they give you passive bonus. You can check in here. Bonus like two percent damage or resistance, and. Uh, yes, I was talking about this. Uh, there are these events that will give bonuses to doing certain things or allowing certain stuff. For example, officer reports will give you extra uh, <coughs> extra rewards for completing ah uh, yes, community author missions. <coughs> and the tip I was talking to you well. That's essentially that. You need to invest, however, 10,000 dilithium to start creating content. Uh, then there's the Starfleet Academy and the Klingon Academy, where you go around the academy trying to catch some blue balls and, uh, and destroying some holograms and things like that. There's the, Federation, the Mirror Universe event, in which you have to face uh, the Federation Mirror <coughs> ships. Uh, that are divided into four task groups and a central uh, flagship and so you can go to PvP, PvP or PvE. In PvE you can see there's a lot that's because I am level 50 and I can access all of them and so here are the STF's missions Cure, ground, uh, cure, cure Infected and Kitamera Card they are divided in elite and normal versions and grounds and space versions. Uh, so, the easiest to start, which is the focus of my next uh, episode, is infected space in normal difficulty. This it's the it's the easiest of all because you can't lose. There you can lose the optional objective, the, the but you can't lose the game. There is no defeat condition for the players. <coughs> I will explain this once we start. Anyway, uh, the grounds versions, well, you go on, on foot with other players. And the difference between normal and elite is that the enemies are much toker on elite and you can get injuries. So, this has been all. This is the third episode. <clears throat> I'm closing it, and the next episodes will be around precisely the SDFs, uh, which are where you will <clears throat> try to farm encrypted data chips, rareable salvages, and uh, <clears throat> shells, engine, and deflector Borg technology. You will be later able to exchange in Deep Space Nine for gear like I am wearing right now. With Mako shells, uh, with Ma with Mako set, Omega Force set, or <coughs> uh, weapons, consoles, etc., or ground gear like this uh, personal shield. Yes, I am using her as as a storage for my Mako set at least until I got all three pieces. Why do I want the three pieces of the Mako set? Because it allows me uh, an instant use of the frequency remodulator every 10 seconds, which is kinda use. So, thank you all, and I, I hope to see you in the next episode. Have fun!